Good morning, hello, good evening, whatever time you're watching this, and welcome to another Coffee with Carl. Got my coffee today too. Uh, I'm coming at you today remote from McCarran Airport. I'm actually in the uh, American Airlines Centurion Lounge, or excuse me, the American Express Centurion Lounge here. And so I wanted to make sure I still got out this video to you because I want to discuss today revolving lines of credit. So lots of questions out there, uh, especially from our platinum clients on the platinum portal. What's a good way to loan my business money? Well, so there's lots of ways you can do it. Ultimately, when we're talking about loans, we are talking about the same thing we touched on yesterday, a little bit with the promissory note. And you can either secure them or, unsecure, or not secure them. And I'm gonna go through a, a way where you can make multiple loans to your business without having to do a promissory note multiple times. This is the real benefit of the revolving line of credit agreement. And the easiest or the most simple way I can describe a revolving line of credit agreement is it's like, you being your company's credit card. Meaning that you actually set a limit, you don't have to put that entire limit into the business, but you can borrow over a longer course of time without having to do a promissory note every single time. So we really like these revolving line of credit agreements. Um, and I actually pulled one up today just so we could kind of look at it. This is one I'm editing for a client. So there's some specific drafting in here. However, of course, no client names will appear. Uh, it's just so, sort of an example on some of the changes we can make. So the, initially, this is this first page and first few pages is going to be the actual line of credit agreement. Uh, we normally set the line of credit agreement just at a default of $150,000. Like I said, you don't have to put that $150,000 in initially, but it allows you to lend up to that amount, just like a credit line or any of your credit cards are used to. Uh, so say I had a $50,000 credit line on, well, I'm the American Express line, I'll just call it on my American Express, and I spend $50,000. Now my card's maxed out there, that limit has stopped. But say I make a payment of $30,000 on it, now I've got $30,000 to spend again. So it works the same type of way. American Express, just because I have a $50,000 limit, doesn't cut me a $50,000 check. It just says I can spend up to that amount. So same thing here. So this first page here, you'll see that the revolving line of credit agreement, as I mentioned, that $150,000 right there and it can either be secured or unsecured. So from the first video, we talked about secured notes versus unsecured. Um, you don't have to secure this note if you don't want to. Ultimately, you represent both sides of the transaction. So, you know, it's dealer's choice. If you have a lot of assets in your business, it may benefit you to secure it though, simply because you can file a lien on any properties you'd like, as well as any personal property, meaning like equipment and things like that to secure this line of credit. And it does make you less attractive to potential plaintiff attorneys. So kind of dealer's choice, but I would suggest, especially for our platinum clients, speaking with one of the attorneys or speaking with your Anderson advisor to advise you on which is probably the best route for you in that case. So just moving through here, there's lots of comments on this one. There was some different things this client was doing individually. Um, so you see lots of comments, lots of red lines. Now, the second piece of this agreement is actually the promissory note. So when we look at the promissory note, there it's, as we mentioned, as I mentioned in video one, there is a promissory note that comes with a loan, except instead of, as I mentioned earlier in this video, you don't have to do this every single time you put money in or out. There's one promissory note, you'll see that 150,000 limit again, and that note will take care of anything that goes in and out of the business for the term of five years or more. It'll automatic, it also has a, uh, the uh, ability to automatically renew since it's within your own business. So we just set an initial term, but it can go farther than that as well if you'd like. But this one promissory note basically takes care of your lending needs within your business, meaning if you've got to move cash in or out, it'll help you with that and without having to do multiple notes, multiple payoffs, things like that. So the final piece of, the prom of this revolving line of credit agreement, which is available to all of our platinum clients on the platinum portal in our document section or our form section um, is the authorization allowing for the, in this case, a corporation to borrow 
that money. So we need to go through and make sure that the all the boxes are checked and that there's some kind of agreement or some kind of um, ratification of an action to borrow money on behalf of the corporation. So this is taking care of the internal documentation side, which help, which will help if, say, you were to get sued, showing that you are observing the corporate formalities on this as well. So this is that final piece to that uh, length, that length of agreement, as well as for the term of that loan. So with these three pieces, you can set up your own revolving line of credit agreement. We're happy to help you. Uh, I would encourage you as well, If you uh, thank you for j joining me for Coffee with Carl, but we also got a ton of free content out there, whether it be our other YouTube videos, uh, Toby's Tax Tuesday, which is awesome. There's always a ton of tax questions. Uh, he always says it's gonna go an hour, but always plan for a little extra can't help himself and we love it. Uh, we actually in the office all watch it as well because it's amazing free information at your fingertips. Uh, if you'd like to get a comprehensive idea of what all we do, we offer three-day asset protection classes as well and that's really where you're going to get a boot camp on kind of the, high, the how and why of what Anderson does. So uh, I'm going to continue with these. I hope you enjoyed our Coffee with Carl and I think my time is up here for you. So I will catch you on the next episode. Thanks for coming.